Welcome to Five Fires YouTube. Today we're going to have an adventure over here at Universal Studios Hollywood for a team member preview. Not only follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at the caliber. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and fire it up. I'm the main host, Mondo. Let's do this. Oh my goodness. Today's a very special day. It is only for team members, friends, and family. I was lucky enough to get invited to this special event, so I'm very thankful and appreciative to be here. This is a technical rehearsal, as you could say, so this is all building up for the big day, which is actually tomorrow, annual past holder preview. And then the very next day, which is Friday, the grand opening of Universal Studios Hollywood. So today is a team member preview very excited. I've never been to an event like this before. Uh, I do know that the studio tour is going, uh, the pet show's going, the tr uh, Jurassic World's going. Pretty much everything is going in regards to how it's going to look like on opening day tomorrow for the pass holders and how it's going to look for opening day uh, for just the public and everybody in general. So I'm very excited. Universal Studios has done a wonderful job for a taste of Universal. Now we're actually gonna enjoy the theme park as a theme park. So no more tasting, no more tabs, none of that. It's a theme park. So I'm very excited for everything that's gonna be in there today. Maybe there's some new merch or something. I have no idea. We're gonna keep an eye out for that, but I am excited. I am five fires excited. Today's gonna be a wonderful day, everybody. Let's fire. <clears throat> oh my goodness. We're inside Universal Studios as a theme park. This is so incredible. And by the way, this is new flooring. These walls have been covering this whole area up. Looks like Universal has invested in new flooring. Big refurbishment has gone down over here. Can't wait to see these statues. Hopefully opening day they'll be done. That'll be awesome. Wow, so we have a new change that has been done. Holy smokes. It's a wonderful day today. <laughs> you look absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so cool. <sighs> so today is like official. Like this is a theme park. And it's a technical rehearsal. I just feel so thankful and blessed to be here today. I'm so happy. Ooh, look at these wait times. This is what dreams are made out of right here. Woo. We got animal actors today. Oh my goodness. And we also got some word that possibly raptor encounters fired up today. Oh, we got Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. I love you, Hello Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awesome. Cheers. Oh, thank you, fellow Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff? Yeah. Oh, it's good to see you too. Are you? Uh, you um, not, 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 not yet. No. Oh, really? Why that? Oh, you do? Oh, really? Oh, I will definitely come visit. What's your name? Sammy. Sammy. I will come see you, Sammy. Be like, remember me? And you be like, I don't know you. I'll, I'll look a little different. Oh, really? Yes. Just as long as I don't get eaten by that, you know, that, 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 that dinosaur. I don't want to eat. Okay. Because they like donkeys down there, you know. Donkey. Oh, thank you, Sammy. I love you, Sammy. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Oh, what a sweetheart. Hi. Look at these guys. What's up? Oh, my gosh. Is that? Is it? Oh, it is. Oh, my gosh. It's good to see you. How have you not gained any weight this year? How do you look so good? He look, he looks so handsome. I mean, my goodness. Oh man, I can't wait to go to the Wizarding World. Pata. We will be adventuring later on in this land. Uh, the first thing we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going to the studio tour. That's the main nostalgia that we want. We want the nostalgia of the studio tour. And it's so cool that it's just a theme park today. It's a theme park. Let go of that donut, sir. 
<laughs> I wish we had a donut right now. Krusty Burger. Now I know the Krusty Burger is definitely worth it. I always wondered, man. Taste Universal. Open our eyes to a lot of new restaurants and a lot of new foods. So glad we got to do Taste Universal. One thing that we uh, got confirmation today, we do not have the Simpson ride, sadly. Hopefully at some point in the near future, we could get the Simpson ride. Oh, I see Homer. Homer's taking a break. He was doing a meet and greet earlier. Hopefully Bart comes out. That'd be cool. Let's do it. Up next, we have the studio tour. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we're getting on. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect today. But we're getting on the studio tour. Oh my gosh. <laughs> today, it is a work day. There is filming going on in the studio today. We have what is called a quiet zone on our tour. At least once on the tour today, you're going to see this on the screen. They are filming for a daytime talk show oh, called damn, Home and Family. It. We're going to pass by their set while they are filming in their set. They don't want to hear my loud voice on the microphone. I will be coming oh, over. Carl Lemley, who's getting the key to the city here. Carl Lemley had a vision. He wanted his movies to make audiences laugh, cry, sit on the edge of their seat. And that is exactly what we have done for the last one hundred years. Real firefighters, give them a wave right here. Real fire trucks. We are Universal Studios, but we're also Universal City. We have our own fire station, sheriff office, medical facilities, our own zip code, everything that you need to be. You're gonna see Soundstage 12. Now the Soundstage 12 was the home of The Voice. It's now moved to Soundstages of 25 and 26, or 24 and 25. Soundstage 12 has a lot of history. Break area for the stars. You can even see what show maybe they are in some of our newer sound stages. These have just opened within the last three years. Stages 22 and 23. For any fans of me there right now, you can see what's going on. So what we're going to do now, we're going to leave a concrete jungle and show you an entirely different thing. Now to introduce this next part of the tour, I kind of be a real name director. Jackson. It's the original King Kong that, that made me want to direct movies. I saw that movie on TV when I was about eight or nine years old, and I wanted to become a filmmaker. Yeah. Action! I like films that just take you away from your real life and sweep you up in adventure. Kong literally does that. I mean, you're on board the ship, you're sailing to a lost island, you're encountering monsters and creatures from, you know, prehistoric times. Okay, glasses on everybody. We're back in Skull Island. Universal's rich, rich movie history. Starting off, 
with the 2008 reboot of Knight Rider, you can see Kit right here. Now, one of my favorites is coming up from Back to the Future, this Ford convertible. We have some of the flying cars, the future cars from the sequel. Some prehistoric cars. These are some of the world's first eco-friendly cars. No engines. Everything's powered by foot power. Who would we be without our Fast and Furious franchise? We do have Fast 9 coming on the way. And one of my other favorites is the Gyrosphere from Jurassic World. And I do want to make sure everybody has, a, has an opportunity to see the tank that is over here on the left. That tank looks menacing and it looks real, but it is made of plywood. There's no steel in that. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Thank you, John. For you Jurassic Park fans, our props, set pieces, picture cars, they are all from the Jurassic franchise. Now, I do want to point out one of the bigger picture cars we have coming up on the left. It looks like a green RV. It is the mobile lab unit from the Lost World Jurassic Park. That is the sequel to the original film starring uh, Vince Vaughn, Julianne Moore, and Jeff Goldblum. Keep your eyes peeled. You may see some dinosaurs while we are out here in the studio. And here are some of our Dilophosaurs. And then the main dinosaur from Jurassic Park 3, you see the Spinosaurus, a practical effect right here. Now, in the Jurassic movies, the dinosaurs, if keep your eyes on to the left, here we have a flash flood. I want you to get a chance to see what that effect looked like on camera, on screen, from the movie Big Fat Liar, starring Frankie Nunez, Amanda Bynes, and Paul Giamatti. We used to have six Western streets, each of them with a saloon, a bank, a hotel. Now, what we have is our main Western area, just on the other side. You may have seen this set in a 2019 movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, and Margot Robbie, they came and used the Western set. I'm going to jump off mic. Remember, you can talk among yourselves. They are filming for the show Home and Family. The set is coming up on your left. I'm going to jump off mic, but talk among yourselves. the home and family set behind us. You're able to see that we're filming out there as we pass by. Again, we are a working studio. What we're doing right now, we're going to bring you into a soundstage. Welcome to Soundstage 50. Now, as we come in here, remember to remain seated. Hold on to your belongings. You don't want to drop anything onto the set. It is very cool. They are allowing us to bring the entire tram inside of Soundstage 50. We want to show you the set, what it's like to be on the inside of the sound stage. Like a subway station. But what we can do is change the signs around the area and make it a different subway station. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Okay. Don't worry about that. In California, we have tremors every now and then, so don't worry about that. Oh, 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 okay, this is it. This is the big one. The big earthquake we have been waiting for. Everyone remain seated. Hold on to your belongings. We're going to have to ride this out.
Okay. Okay. I think it's settled down, right? Oh, no. No, no. Not again! You all survived Earthquake, the big one. A simulated 8.3 earthquake on the Richter scale. Now, that was used on a TV show, on an episode of the show Bones, starring David Boreanaz and Emily Deschanel. On your screens, this is going to be the same earthquake, but on the episode of Bones. Take a look. They had a problems with a big shark. Not anymore. You can see they caught the shark over here on your right hand side. The shark is hanging there. They're very proud that they caught the shark, so they put it up on display. Now, one of our officers, George, is in the water right now. Wait a minute. No, oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. There's still a shark out there. Wait, George. George, get out of the water, man. There's still a shark. George? George, no. George, you need to swim to that boat right now, George. George. George, the shark is under you. No. Okay. Oh. I am so sorry. I am so sorry you all had to see that, folks. George lost his lower half. Okay. So, there is still a shark out there on the loose, so we need to get into hiding. The safest place for us? Right behind all the barrels of gasoline. That's where we're going to hide out. So remember to remain seated. Hold on to your belongings but keep a sharp eye. There's still a shark out there on the loose. Oh! Oh! It set the pier on fire. We're gonna need a bigger clam. only shark in the world that knows how to backstroke. Go right back into position so you can do it all over again. This is very similar to how they film the movie films. They use a giant mechanical shark. The shark did not always work the way that they wanted. They had a lot of problems. The perfect person to tell you about the troubles they had, director himself, Steven Spielberg. That's a much more like shark. The shark was frustrated. It didn't really work all the time. It didn't work hard at all. Wherever you were on the island, you could hear the radio news. They were always saying, the shark is not working. Repeat, the shark is not working. We just waited around. We just waited. The shark worked well enough for a while there and things were going on. So I really owe the shark a lot. Could also film music. That is a practical set compared to what is on the other side of the sun. We're going to be turning into another location. This next area is called Colonial Street. Colonial Street is used any time that we need a residential neighborhood. So we don't have to go to a real residential neighborhood. Close down the street, get into the way of people's homes. You just stay here in the studio and you come and use Colonial Street. For any fans of the TV show Desperate Housewives, you maybe recognize this neighborhood. This was used as Wisteria Lane for eight seasons of Desperate Housewives. That's just one of the big shows. Currently, it is being used for a Mindy Kaling TV show, Never Have I Ever. So anyone who's seen that show, they can recognize them from different films. However, there are also picture cars from the theme park. For example, the hearse that you see over there was used for a Beetlejuice street show that we used to do a while ago here in our studio. But when we turn the corner, we're going to be showing you probably the most iconic set that we have in the studio. From 1960. <laughs> We all go out of the back sometimes. Now 
I know you are all brave enough. What we are going to do, we're going to go pass by the Psycho House. Let's go get up close and personal. The Psycho House is the original house all the way back from 1960 from Hitchcock's classic film. Now, while we pass by, look into the second story window, see if Mother is home. And just on the other side of the Psycho House, we have another amazing set from Steven Spielberg's movie, War of the World, starring Tom Cruise and Dakota Fanning. This is the airplane craft shop. To tell you about what it was like to put this set together, to envision the set, you're gonna see, you're gonna hear from the production designer and the director, Steven Spielberg. Airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around a vision that Stephen had. We forget to sit down. Also used for an episode of Star Trek Picard, but look all the way in the distance at that giant blue screen. That is called Falls Lake. I want to show you how we use that screen. Now, this is a scene from the movie Sully, directed by Clint Eastwood, stars Tom Hanks. A movie about the airplane that landed in the Hudson River. That is filmed in front of the blue screen. They created the Hudson River using that area. So it's a really incredible tool to create a big, big scale scene. Wait a minute. Okay. Take a look ahead of us. We just got the green light. They're going to let us into one of our garages that we have here in the studio. So remember to remain seated, hold on to your belongings, especially when we go inside. We're going to go ahead and check out what are they working on in here today. On your left, you can see several of the vehicles that they're working on. Wow! There is a whole party going on in here. Wow! Which one of you is the witness? Speak now or you all get fried! This is our turn. together. Now, I want to leave you all with this. Coming up on your right-hand side is a beautiful view of the valley and the studio. Over a hundred years ago, our founder, Carl Lemley, saw the view and had a vision. He wanted his movies to make audiences laugh and cry, sit on the edge of their seats. For the last 100 years, that's exactly what they've done. Now, as we return to the park, a reminder to follow all team member instructions closely when you board and disembark the ride. Enjoy your Remember to wear your facial coverings at all times. 
Man. I always love this angle of the castle of Wizarding World by the Heaven Pata. Over here in Krusty Land. To the butt, man. <laughs> we got an awesome meet and greet. We got Homer. Dang, he's getting down. Dang, Homer's getting down. <laughs> Hell yeah, Homer. Don't. <laughs> All right, we're done for now at the upper lot. We're about to head to the lower lot. That's a lot of action going down there. We heard Blue is actually out and about. We're so excited. We're making our way to the second escalator. Wanted to check out. We got this good vantage point for the HHN house. And then the whole lower lot down there. Look how beautiful it is. For right now, we're going to do a quick update over here at HHN house. Who knows what it's going to be. From the last time I was here, uh, none of these walls were painted. So I'm guessing a lot of the detail and whatever is going to happen in these show scenes and walkthrough is probably going to come to life soon. So excited. I am so excited. And then the front end, uh, it looks like there's, I don't know if that's a new structure in the front end or what, but man, I hope we get an announcement soon because nothing has been announced housewise. Uh, for 2021, but we're all staying positive for Halloween Horror Nights 2021. And then for Jurassic World, for Jurassic World, they do have the ride running right now. They got the waterfall running. Everything should be a go. Uh, we did get word that Blue is doing a meet and greet for Raptor Encounter. So I'm definitely excited for that. Hopefully we can get a mango, uh, or not a mango, but a pina colada too over here at Isla Nubar. I'm excited. All right, let's fire it up to the lower lot, everybody. And before we head to the lower lot, I just wanted to do a quick uh, Nintendo World. Look at that. Man, so cool. So there's some speculation going on over here at Super Nintendo World. Uh, the big speculation has been, where is Bowser's Castle gonna go? Because there's not a lot of area. But there is some speculation it might be going in that distance right there. So then right across in this vicinity, at some point in time, we'll see Peach's Castle. And that would make sense if Peach's Castle was to be in this end because when you walk into the land, which is from that angle right there, you would walk into Peach's Castle into Nintendo World. So we'll definitely keep these updates coming over here in Nintendo World for the future. But, uh, up next, we got to ride Jurassic World, man. Let's fire it up. We got some new F9 posters that have gone up. This is so cool. Ooh, can't wait for that. June 25th, baby. We finally made it over here to the lower lot at Universal Studios Hollywood. I'm so excited. Uh, Raptor Encounter will be fired up at 3.30, so we're definitely gonna check that out. Uh, up next, we have a 10 minute wait for Jurassic World to ride. And check this out, the fires are fired up over here at Jurassic World. Just a key subtle update, but heck yeah. The fire wasn't lit during Tasty Universal, but it's going now. Let's do this, it's fun. <clears throat> Just got off Jurassic World to ride. Up next, Revenge of the Mummy. Thanks. Revenge. Revenge. 
So we just got off the mummy right now. I forgot how crazy that takeoff is. It's, it's been over a year since we've ridden it. So, man, that was awesome. <laughs> I will say, if you come to Universal Studios, mummy, that has to be one of the rides you do. It's so much fun. It's scary. And you're just in the darkness half the time when the ride starts. It's crazy. But that was a lot of fun. That was five fires. Well, Flu is very excited to see everyone. We're going to bring her out now. I'm just going to ask you to remain calm while she enters the park. That text, let's open the gates. Eyes on me. Blue. Hold. Eyes on me. Blue. Hey. That's more like it. Okay, calm down. We're moving. Good. Good job, girl. So, folks, you will notice some heightened behavior in blue as she acclimates herself. Vetex, she is showing some disobedience and heightened aggression, but it's nothing to worry about. She's responding to verbal commands mid-movement, which is great. I'd love to bring our first volunteer. Oh man, it's actually open. I only go to Panda, 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 when I'm at theme parks. Oh man, so what do they serve here? Let's find out. We got one plate, two plates, and then three plate. Looks like everything has orange chicken. I think I'm gonna do the four plate. That one, uh, that one looks really good. We got a lot of people taking photos over here with Luigi and Mario. Big confirmation that that's a Super Nintendo World. All right, we're gonna be doing Transformers the ride. Who's gonna win? The Autobots or the Decepticons? Autobots roll out. The Allspark. Training. I am the Finnish Combat Specialist, Ironhide. And our objective today is to familiarize you. Couple of things. I want to know about the WD-40 and the mattress in my barracks is a little squishy. Also, I was thinking about taking a couple of Your bravery saved the planet. Well done, freedom fighters. Way to improvise, team. Thanks for being was protected. What happened to your pants? They're barely there. My goodness, I hope you're all right. Who is on her t-shirt? Impressive. So I heard you're a bad guy. I'm the bad guy. That is how the Billy Eilish song goes when I butcher it. Well, hello. My line is open if you want to join. It is only four hundred dollars for a picture. <laughs> uh oh, four hundred bucks. That's eight hundred. Greetings. What a wonderful poncho you're wearing. I approve. The blue is my favorite part. Matches my own armor perfectly. We will never be cold, not with each other. <laughs> so we're finally finishing up with the lower lot over here at Universal Studios Hollywood. There's a lot to do down there. There's Jurassic World, Transformers, The Mummy, uh, the Transformer meet and greets, which is Optimus Prime, Megatron, Bumblebee. And there's also uh, now, as of today at least, uh, Blue's a meet and greet, which was awesome. So. 
The lower lot is coming to life in a huge way. Uh, up next, I, I don't know if we have enough time to do Harry Potter today. I really wish we did, but uh, we're gonna be heading to Pets because that's the new thing to do. And uh, Paul has not got on it, so we definitely want to get Paul on it today. A big surprise today was Universal Animal Actors did come to life. Uh, they did fire up the show, I think, three times today. Uh, sadly, we were just at the lower lot for most of the day today, but definitely want to catch one of these shows uh, in the upcoming days because I will be here uh, for the grand opening. So can't wait to see it out, see if anything's changed. Located over here next to Mel's Diner, we have some walls that have gone up. If you guys remember, this is where Holidays in Hell was in 2019. And this uh, could be a sign of HHN for 2021. We'll definitely keep a close eye on whatever's happening here. Uh, this is very exciting. We got walls. First comes the walls, then comes the tent. <laughs> Man, I have no idea what could even come in this uh, area for Halloween Horror Nights, but this is very exciting. Uh, let's see if we can see anything on the other side over here on the, by the Parisian Courtyard. We're over here at Parisian Courtyard and they actually had a meet and greet with Frankenstein right here. He's not here right now, but he was terrorizing the people of Paris over here. But we have more walls that have gone up. This is all a good sign. Possibly a Halloween Horror Nights house will be going up here. If you are trying to do the studio tour, definitely, definitely do the studio tour early because they do stop it at four o'clock, uh, at least as of today, which was a technical rehearsal. So I'm guessing it's gonna probably be like that tomorrow and then the grand opening on Friday. So uh, definitely do the studio tour way before four o'clock. So at least you get to enjoy it because uh, it definitely adds to your day over here at Universal Studios. It was so much fun. What's up, Minion? <laughs> Hope to see you around. I'll see you at Minion's Cafe. Minion's Cafe. <laughs> wow. Banana, 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 banana. <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> and here we have more walls that have gone up. So to me, in my opinion, I believe we're going to get a Halloween Horror Nights house, my friend. I hope so. Yeah. Who knows what it'll be? I, I have no, uh, I have no uh, speculation on what this house will be. Sheesh! If they just brought Hol Holidays in Hell back, I'll be down with that. I loved it. It was an awesome maze, or Universal Monsters. That was an epic maze right here. Making our way over here to the Secret Life of Pets off the Leash. That's pretty packed. And today they're actually running. Uh, the virtual tickets in hand if you wanted to do it not on the app it's more busier than i thought it was going to be surprising people were actually able to get virtual tickets like uh and it would print out a paper ticket to tell you what time to come back through these machines the line is just way too long for secret life of pets so we're gonna go to the was it wild spend the last 30 minutes over there and just have fun The conductor. <laughs> I love Hogsmeade. It's so beautiful out here. I just love spending time in this land. So amazing. So amazing. Oh, Flight of Hippogriff is still going. Want to enjoy the beauty of the Wizarding World of Harapata Castle. It doesn't even look real. When you see this in person though, it's just stunning. Absolutely beautiful. We're about to go to Filch Emporium. And this is the exit of uh, Forbidden Journey. We got lots of cool merch out here. Just checking out some of the Gryffindor merch. Pretty cool. Then we got mugs. Got some pillows here. Then we got Slytherin. We 
Look at this shirt. Oh, they got socks too. It's pretty cool. We're back over here at Three Broomsticks. And let me tell you guys, look, fish and chips, $18.99. Shepherd's pie, $16.99. And that was just one tab during Taste of Universal. Universal honestly did one of the best tasting events of all time. What a deal uh, Taste of Universal was for 45 bucks and then I think 55 for the weekend. Incredible, incredible. The lemonade over here at Three Brew Six is just so good. It's actually become one of my favorite things to get when I come to Universal Studios. I just have to get one. These are like almost better than the butterbeer for me. <laughs> Popcornopolis over here at Universal City Walk has turned on the lights. Could it mean it's gonna come back soon? We'll find out, we'll stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching Five Fires YouTube. What a wonderful time we had over here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Incredible, incredible day for team member technical rehearsal. All right, everybody, don't forget to hit that like button on the way out and thank you for supporting the fire. We are burning down, burning down. The Cali Bay is calling it a day. I'm the main host, Mondo. Ah.